Okay, how is everybody this morning or afternoon, wherever you are? Uh, I just done a little short video here about something I tried. Uh, my gauges on the gray water tank and black water tank actually don't work all that well. So I was watching the YouTube video. Must have been two years ago, maybe a year and a half. And I forget it was a from some uh, YouTuber like uh, RV Geeks or something like that. But their uh, gauges apparently weren't working. And their quick fix was to pour some uh, dishwashing liquid like you would use in an automatic dishwasher down into the gray and the black water tank. So I took this opportunity... Uh, driving from Birmingham down to Tampa Bay, where I'm going to be for the next several months, to try that out. Now, I don't know yet if it's worked or not. But anyway, I bought a 75-ounce container of dishwashing liquid, and I poured about half of it. I didn't measure it uh, exactly, but I poured about half of it in the gray water tank and about half of it in the black water. And then I put about uh 15 gallons of clean water in each tank now that doesn't fill the tanks up the reason i did that was so during that 650 or 75 mile trip then there would be a sloshing action going on in there and their theory was that this dishwashing liquid was formulated in such a way that it had uh real grime cutting ingredients in it which when sloshing against your sensors inside the tank was supposed to dislodge some of that now i want to keep in mind that i have 30 year old gray tanks <laughs> and black water tanks in this old uh uh class c of mine so even if mine doesn't work which i'm not going to be surprised if it works and i'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't work I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't work. I just thought it would be worth a shot. So, uh, what I'm saying is that if you have a five-year-old RV or maybe a 10-year-old RV, you may experience different results than I do. But I'm going to show you right now. Take a look at my tank sensors. Okay, this is the way mine's set up. Of course, a lot of them are different than that but I have a power button here and this uh, holding tank one I believe is the gray water holding tank two, the black water and then here's the uh, water level now I've let me turn that power on I let my water level in my water tanks run down that particular gauge seems to work pretty good so I didn't want to carry a full thing of water on this trip, but I did want some backup water in case something happened and I needed to take a shower. So that's showing half a tank and that's probably about right. When I come over here to this gray water tank, now that's showing a half, which is probably about right. Now, wait a minute. That's, yeah, the gray water. And the... Black water tank is showing full, and I actually don't believe that should be full. But what I'm going to do is go outside now, and I'm here hooked up at the campsite, and I'm going to go dump these tanks, and I'm going to hope that I get an empty reading on both of these tanks. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't. But if it works, then uh, I'll really be tickled to death. And if it works, then that'll let you folks know uh, uh, something that you can try next time you go out in your RV. Anyway, let's go dump these tanks. Okay, I'm not doing that clean the tanks out trick that I've shown before. But I want to dump the black water first. And that's flowing really good this time with mostly that soapy water in it. Uh, 
Okay, and I'm gonna reach under here. Now, I'll grab that gray water. Of course, you dump the gray water second because that gives you a little more cleaning inside the, your uh, hose here. Now, let's let that run for a little while, and then I'm going to go back in and check those gauges. Okay, so here we are back at the panel. I've uh, given the tank several minutes to drain. I'm going to hit the power on button. Now, these tanks are empty, so if this worked, we'll see empty. If it didn't work, then those little lights are going to come on. Okay, that's holding tank one, and it's saying half full. And uh, I think that's what it was saying before. <laughs> so absolutely nothing happened there. Here is holding tank two, and it says that it's completely full. And that's what it said before, so nothing is happening there. And, of course, we've already determined that the water level tanks are, that was pretty accurate. But anyway, so the only thing this has done is to tell folks that if you have 30-year-old tanks, this detergent trick does not work. So anyway, the only thing I, I guess uh, I can tell you is don't go out and spend your five, six, seven bucks on a bottle of that dishwashing liquid and try to clean your holding tank sensors because uh, absolutely nothing happened with it. Save your money. Adios.